Most people's websites tell visitors all about the wonderful things they do and all the wonderful work that they've done. But who does that serve? Who is all that information actually for? It might be yours, but your website is not for you. But neither is it meant to be for everybody. The purpose of your website is to reach a specific group of people, the people that you want to work with. I'm Simon Batchelor, and in this video I'll explain how your website can help the people you want to work with understand why they might want to trust you and choose to work with you. It's your website, but it's not for you, and ideally it's not even about you. It is unlikely that someone who knows nothing about what you do and doesn't know what you're offering is going to happen upon your website. Much more likely is that your online visitors already know a little bit about you and a little bit about what you do. Now this gives you something to build on. But still, if your website content is all about you, it can be a tough job to get people to understand what you can do for them and why they might want to choose to work with you. As Seth Godin says, if they knew what you know, would they buy what you're selling? And if they don't know what you know, then what do you want them to understand? It's far better to focus your website on your visitors. Consider these questions. What brought them here? What are they thinking, feeling or doing? What are their aims or goals? In other words, you make it about them and therefore make it for them. You need to show people that they can trust you. Show them that you understand where you are and that what you do works for people like them, getting them where they want and need to be. You can create a website that does just that by considering the three questions that any potential client is asking themselves about you. These questions are, who does this person work with and are they people like me? What does this person work with these people on and does that match what I'm looking for? And why can I trust this person to help me get where I want to go? These are the only three questions you need to answer before launching your website. Yes, there's plenty more detail and content you can add, but to get started, that's actually all you need to cover. The two main mistakes I see people making when creating a website are, number one, the website is all about them. It's failing to explain what the client will get from working with them. These websites often feel very sales heavy to me, much like a pitch. Number two, the website is so detailed and long-winded that I'd need a day or two to find and absorb all of the information. Buried in all this information, I presume, are the answers to who, what and why, but to be honest, I've never really had the patience to stick around and find out if that's the case. There's a very simple check you can make to see whether your website is about you or about your clients. When you scan the text of your website, do your sentences begin with I or do they begin with you or we? This isn't a hard and fast rule, of course. You are going to need some sentences that start with I. But the websites that use you and me tend to focus on the visitor and what they need and want. And you might be thinking, well, hang on, this website over here is all about that coach and has loads of content on it, and they're doing great. And yes, there are no shortage of look at me websites that make the owner look amazing and doubtless do wonders for their ego. And I'm sure some of these people are doing well thanks to their website making lots of sales. Some people are just looking for a leader to follow, and if that's your game, then go for it. As far as I see it, your website can either be an ego trip for you, or it can focus on the people that you really want to work with. It really depends who your website is for. In my experience of working with coaches and consultants, their websites are far more effective at attracting and building the kind of clients they really want to work with when they focus on the ideal clients by answering those who, what and why questions. If your clients are important, which I believe they are, then make your website reflect that. Let's think back to Seth's quote from earlier. What do you need them to understand in order that they can know what you know? When you build your website content from the client's perspective, you're helping the potential client get to a point where they can make an independent and informed decision about whether what you're offering is the right fit for them. This might get a few goes to get right, and it can sometimes feel a little bit odd, but I do encourage you to give it a go. Focus on answering those three questions. In conversations with new clients who have visited your site, you'll find they ask different questions, new questions, and this will give you some insight into areas of new content for your website or different ways of articulating your answers to those questions. 
they'll show you directions in which you can expand the website's content to tell them even more about what they need to know. After all, your website is never really finished, it's just the current version. Building a website can seem like a daunting task, and I hope that the clear message of this video is that you probably need to include a lot less content than you think. To help you get started, I've created a free downloadable template outlining what sections you might like to include on their website's homepage. You can download it with a link in the description of this video. If you'd like to dive deeper and learn more, then do consider my book, Reframing Marketing. It's a three-step guide to effective and ethical marketing focused on understanding the kind of clients you really want to work with and how you can answer the who, what and why questions. You can find out more about that book and order your copy at reframingmarketing.com. I'll see you in the next video.